The faculty, staff, and students here at St. Thomas the Apostle School have much to celebrate as they head into Catholic Schools Week. The student body of 186 in grades pre-K through 8 work hard academically, they care about their community, and they strive every day to make the world a better place. Plus, they just love their principal, Sister of St. Joseph, Patty Houghton. At St. Thomas the Apostle School, I have the responsibility to learn, to serve, to lead, and succeed. I will be kind and respectful. I will be a peacemaker by my words and my actions. Today, I will make a difference. Each morning, students in grades pre-K through 8 begin the day reciting the school's motto, setting the tone for the day, says longtime principal, Sister of St. Joseph, Patty Houghton. It makes them realize every day that they have responsibility. For 92 years, students have been educated in the classrooms of this parish school. We celebrate families and children in Catholic education every single day here. I, yes, we have a Catholic Schools Week, but I believe that Catholic Schools Week is celebrated every day here. And I'm very proud to say that. Every day there's a new story to tell at St. Thomas, and there were some great stories happening on the day we visited. In Kathleen Curran's eighth grade classroom, the students were knitting hats for the homeless and less fortunate. It makes you feel good. You feel like you're helping people in the community, and that's always like a good feeling. The eighth graders also learned of the traditions of lace making, begun by the Sisters of St. Joseph in 17th century France, and how it could be related to knitting today. In France, the Sisters of St. Joseph would knit lace for the wealthy and the royal in royalty, and they would have kids making lace. So it's Sister Patty found it very similar, and she thought it was really interesting that we all knit, and she, it reminded her of the Sisters of St. Joseph. In Kathleen Neffinger's fifth grade, there was a research project going on. Students are learning all about the presidents of the United States. I researched about John F. Kennedy. I learned that he was a very kind president. He did a lot. He was. One time, he was nervous about African Americans getting to school safely because there was something going on in that time. So he sent soldiers over there to make sure they were getting to school safely. And the research brings with it real life lessons. I just wish, because he died from assassination, and I just wish that people could live peacefully without any um, crime violence and everything because it's very sad how I hear about people passing away from that. Opportunities to make a difference, to pray for peace, to celebrate faith and family are central in Catholic education and a Catholic school environment, says Sister Patty. An example of this is the school's angel tree in the entrance lobby celebrating the angels in life. Those people who have died those people who are still angels and are living around us each and every day. And I, I love doing things like that with these kids. They're so precious and they're just holy little beings. So, you know, just things like that really make a difference here and will forever make a difference. It's no surprise that this principal, who will be retiring after serving 52 years in Catholic education, 15 of those at St. Thomas, was named Reader Rave's Best School Principal and St. Thomas School Best Private School. When we were voted the best school, I said to the lady, I said, I am over the moon. I said, I come to school every day and see these beautiful kids, and they are so polite and, and beautiful to their teachers and so respectful of the environment. And I said, yes, we are the best, you know, and so, you know, I, yeah, oh my, I, I can't stop talking about it. And these second graders in Mrs. Margaret Doyle's room couldn't stop talking about their buildings they were making out of paper towel rolls. Um, I went to a barber shop once, so it got me, uh, me the idea to build one. Very nice. And tell me about 
the way you've got big rolls in the front, and how come you did that? It makes it look nice. Yep. Is, was that, would that be the place that they go into the... Yeah, it's the entrance, the entrance to it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Does it, does it have a name? Um, Lucas's Barbershop. Um, it's like a store that could sell anything. It has a um, little Happy Meals inside of it. Yeah. Um, and it's a McDonald's. Oh. Uh -huh. What do you like the best at McDonald's? Oh, the Happy Meals and the toys and, and, the, Mc, and the chicken nuggets. Sister Patty says she will certainly miss these little nuggets when she retires, but she's confident that her replacement, longtime teacher at the school, Elizabeth Hawley, will not skip a beat. I'm sad in one way of knowing that I am not going to be with my kids. I just love these kids. They're so beautiful. And I, I know that they're going to go out and do great things. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I'm, I'm thrilled I'm retiring only because I know there's somebody else that can do the job even a little bit better. Because, um, you know, yeah, it's time. But it's not going to be easy. Oh, aren't they just so adorable? And everybody loves Sister Patty here, and I wish her so many more years of a happy retirement.